Customize your sales invoices. Before creating invoices in Sage Accounting, you can choose from a range of invoice layouts and easily customize these to reflect your business need. Customized invoices help you present a professional image in keeping with your brand. For example, add your logo and payment terms. Let's look at these settings in Sage Accounting. From the menu bar, hover over Settings, then choose Business Settings. From the Document Settings section, click Templates and Logos. These settings change the aesthetics of your invoice. Later in this video, we'll cover your document preferences, where you'll learn how to change the wording and numbering on your invoices. There are product and service based templates here. Product based invoices show quantities and unit prices, while service based invoices allow for more space for large amounts of text. These templates show where your company logo or association logos will appear. There are more templates in this drop down. Scroll down to upload your company and association logos. To add some colour to your documents, select from the preset colours or enter your own using your colour hex code. Finally, you can select the font and font size for your document. If you'd like to preview your customizations, click Preview here. To confirm and save your changes, click Save. After aesthetics, let's look at the wording and any numbering on your documents. To access these settings, from the Document Settings section, click Document Preferences. If you'd like to change the document headings on your sales invoices, amend the text in this box. By default, your invoice numbers will be prefixed with SI for Sales Invoice. In prefixes and numbering, you can change the default prefix by typing over the existing information. If you don't want sales invoice numbers to have a prefix, clear the box. If you'd like your invoices to start from a particular number or change your next invoice number, you can do that here simply by entering the next invoice number. However, if you've already issued invoices in Sage Accounting and that invoice number has been used, the next available number will be assigned. You can choose to number your invoices and credit notes separately by selecting or clearing the checkbox. Next, you can customise the contact details and addresses that appear on your invoices. The contact details section refers to your business information, not the customer that you're invoicing. To change the default settings, select or clear the checkboxes. The default delivery address section refers to your customer delivery information. When you set up your customer record, you can specify a delivery address if required. Select the relevant option here. Please note, if you select no address, the delivery address box will be removed from your invoices completely. Remember, you can preview your changes here. Your line item column headings can be renamed here if required. In the next section, you can add up to three columns of free text information in the footer details. If you have standard terms and conditions, such as payment details, you can add these per document type using these tabs. You can edit these further on the go when you create each invoice. The notes section is a space for standard information you'd like to include on each invoice, such as bank details for payment. Again, you can edit these when you create each invoice. To save your changes, click Save. You can set defaults for your customers to make invoicing easier. To do this, from the Business Settings area, click Record and Transaction Settings. Here you can set your invoice due defaults. Complete these details so your invoice due dates will automatically be set without any manual input. For example, you can choose to set your invoice due date to always be 30 days after the invoice date. To set any other default information, work down the page and remember to click Save. If you plan to email your invoices to your customers, you can customise your document email settings too. From the Document Settings section, click Document Emails. 
you can specify the reply email address here. This means that if a customer replies to your emailed invoice, their replies can go to a specific inbox. If you'd like, you can send yourself a copy each time a document is emailed. Document attachment settings are amended here. Each time you email a document from Sage Accounting, default text will appear, reducing your manual input and making the process even easier. For each document type, add your default text here. Please note you can edit this or add email text on the go if required. To save your changes, click Save. You have now learned how to customise your invoices within Sage Accounting.